300 million years ago, animals figured out how to fly. Since then, four groups have gone up. Insects, birds, bats, and the now extinct pterosaurs. All of them fly using the same mechanism, flapping their wings. But why don't any animals float in the sky, like a balloon? Sea creatures use air bladders and buoyancy all the time to maintain their position in the water column. Land animals could use buoyant flight, using lighter-than-air biological gases to lift off like methane or hydrogen. But where are they? Welcome back to the channel. Please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. There has been one old report of a floating insect from 1954 in the South American rainforest, a tree hopper. Tree hoppers are insects in the order Membracidae, sometimes called thorn bugs. Membracids have enlarged, frequently intricately sculptured pronota. These structures commonly function as camouflage, but the purpose of these structures on other species isn't understood at all. Meet Oida, a tiny Amazonian insect with a huge, hollow balloon-like back. From the original 1954 report of this insect, it was described to use this balloon back to help it float through the jungle canopy. It, the thorax, is much larger than the body, being its length, once extrapolated, 14 to 15 times larger. This fact allows the species Oida hamulata to employ it as a hot air balloon. While feeding, the insect always sits over a sunny leaf. The temperature measured under the sun in the jungle, that is, surrounded by shadows, is 6 to 10 degrees Celsius higher than the temperature measured in the shade. When startled, it lifts and moves quickly upward towards the shelter in the treetops. There, it lets the air trapped in the pronotum cool little by little, descending branch after branch, it returns to the host plant, again to a sunny spot. To find out if this is actually true, researchers studied Oida's body shape, weight, and the air conditions in its habitat. They used physics to estimate what it would take to make this creature float. If Oida could actually float, its balloon-like thorax would need to generate more lift than its body weight. The scientists also tested how much the sun could heat the air inside the thorax to make it lighter, similar to a hot air balloon. Oida's buoyancy was modeled for five species in the genus, under different atmospheric conditions, and using different gases for the balloon, such as air, methane, and hydrogen. Additionally, they looked at the relationship between the size of the balloon back and the size of the insect's wings, estimating that as the balloon gets bigger, the wings should shrink and are less needed to achieve flight. But bad news. It turns out that even with its huge back, the amount of lift Oida gets from heated air is tiny. The researchers calculated that the insects can only lift about 0.02% of its body weight, nowhere near enough to float. For Oida to actually fly like this, its balloon-like thorax would need to be thousands of times bigger. Imagine a bug with a balloon the size of a basketball attached to its back. Additionally, the wings get bigger as the pronotum increases in size, possibly indicating it is more of a burden to flight than help. So why don't we see land animals using buoyant flight? First, air is much less dense than water, making floating much harder. Second, having a huge hollow body would make the insect more vulnerable to predators, being more difficult to navigate and more easy to see. And third, even if the animal could generate enough lift, controlling its movement while in the air would be incredibly difficult. If Oida's balloon pronotum doesn't help it float, what is it for? Scientists think it might be a form of camouflage, helping Oida blend in with dead leaves or mimic empty butterfly cocoons. It could also help to regulate body temperature. In the end, while buoyant flight is an amazing idea, Nature seems to have decided it's just not practical. Instead, evolution has favored wings and powered flight. But what that researcher saw in 1954 in the South American jungle is unexplained. 